Good morning, Conway community and Conway Public Schools. I'm Dr. Jeff Collin, and we are back today to talk about our theme this year, which is ascending. Uh, and we're here with Mr. Bruce Harrell, uh, who has worked in the district for a very long time and is also a Wampus Cat for Life. Uh, and part of our theme is to ascend with purpose. And so we wanted to sit down and talk with Mr. Harrell about the work that he and his team, they do a lot of things behind the scenes. And so uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. But before we do that, welcome, Mr. Harrell, and, and thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Glad to be here. So, Mr. Harrell, uh, tell me, you've been in the community a long time. Tell us about your history here in Conway and, and your history with the school district. Okay. Well, uh, I was born here, um, and then I was raised here my whole life. I went to Conway schools, um, graduated in 1987. Uh, then I went to UCA here, stayed here even for college, and then uh, was hired on at the school district in 1989 and uh, have been here ever since. So this starting my 36th year with the school district. So, so. 36 years working uh, with a lot of different folks and, and doing a lot of support services for the district. Bruce, tell us the things that you guys do on a day in and day out basis that maybe folks don't understand uh, the work that has to go in behind the scenes to make sure that our buildings are they're operable, um, lights are on, floors are clean, all those kind of pieces. Talk about, talk about what you and your staff do for the district. Okay, well, you know, we're very fortunate here at Conway because we have great facilities. You know, and these buildings were built for students to learn in, not necessarily for us to have a job, but for students to learn in. So I think it's incumbent that what our department does on a daily basis, you know, is the things that people come in and don't even pay attention to. If they're not paying attention to anything, that means we've probably done our job pretty well. Um, because what we need is a distraction-free environment so that the teachers can teach at a high level and students can learn at a high level. I agree with that and, and I can say that uh, coming into the district and looking at the state of the facilities that Bruce and his team have done an amazing job over the years. Uh, they do renovations about every one or two years across the district and so with 16 different campuses uh, Bruce and his team it's almost a turnkey operation when we say at the district level hey, we wanna go in and renovate this campus, we basically can look at Bruce and go, we don't have to worry about it, he's gonna get it done. They've got standards of excellence uh, that they go in and apply to these buildings. And you can see that uh, all across the district in, in those buildings. And so thank you and your team for that. Uh, Bruce, the next thing I wanna talk about is how do you feel like your team uh, works to, to provide a safe and secure learning environment for our kids? Well, I think it starts at the custodial level, you know, making sure that they're the kind of the first line of defense. You know, they come in every morning, uh, you know, when students and staff arrive, the buildings are clean without anybody seeing that going on. Um, and then by them doing their job, uh, they're in a, a, a clean, well-maintained facility. And then you follow that up with, uh, you know, our outside, our lawn care department, you know, making sure when you come up to the building, the first thing you see is a well-maintained exterior um, and then from there you've got uh, you know our routine and plan maintenance that our central maintenance staff does to ensure that all our systems are working correctly you know the, the things that you want to have for sure you know you want to make sure that the, sp the spaces are clean and adequate yeah uh, you want to have good air quality so that we have uh, healthy kids healthy teachers um, then you, you know the lighting is good uh, the temperature in the room is good uh, because, you know, a healthy student probably learns the best and a healthy staff teaches the best. So we want to make sure that everybody's doing their part because we're here so students can achieve. So I think that's what we need to be doing. And I think Bruce and his team do an excellent job of that. And, and something I want to kind of define too uh, that goes on behind the scenes a lot is I can't imagine the amount of uh, work requests and, and uh, fix-it requests that come sure. into your office. There may be 500, 800, who knows, a 1,000. Uh, but what these guys have to do every day is kind of sort through those things, prioritize them, and then go hit the buildings that need those pieces done sooner than later. And so I'm just going to say, I think Bruce and his team, team do an excellent job of that and keeping these facilities running uh, with a lot of requests coming in on a daily Absolutely. basis. And Absolutely. so thank you guys for doing that, Bruce. And the, the other thing I want to hit on is let's talk about you and, and your time here in the district. Uh, how many years again total? This is my 36. So 36 so. years, guys and, and ladies, that's a long time to be a Wampus Cat. Bruce, what has motivated you over the years, every day, just to get up and keep coming back and, and doing the work that you do? Well, uh, I'm number one, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm, I've been fortunate enough to be able to work in this district that long. 
you know, the, the doors had kind of opened for me and, and the good Lord gave me the wisdom to walk through them. So I think that a lot of it has just been uh, a love of the city, a love of the school district because uh, being a product of it and getting also to work with a lot of the people I've been able to work with has been amazing. Um, you know, used to, you looked at all those people and they were the old guard and that's who you emulated and followed. Now you realize, hey, I'm, I'm, now I'm the old guard, <laughs> you know. But uh, uh, it's just been a great experience. I've been very fortunate my whole life uh, to be able to serve the district and that's what I see it as, is an opportunity to serve. So uh, just very thankful for that opportunity. And I think as, as we've talked today, you can just kind of see the heart that, that Mr. O'Harrell has for the school, for our kids, uh, and it shows in the facilities. Uh, you know, being over maintenance is probably not the funnest job in the world, but when you put your heart into what is good for kids, then the results show themselves. And so thank you again for what you do for this district. Thank you for the 36 years that you've put in. Uh, and I know you, I've heard you say you're getting closer and closer to that day uh, of right. retirement. And we won't talk about the exact <laughs> day because we don't want to hear it. Uh, but we know that that date is coming at some point. But I'll say, Bruce, just in the short time that I've worked with you, the legacy of work and, and the legacy of support and servanthood that you provided is top notch. And so thank you, thank uh, you on behalf of the district for what you it. guys do. Thank you, sir. Final question we always have to ask, Bruce, you've been a Wampus Cat for life. So tell us what it means to be a Wampus Cat to you and what is that? what has that been for you, uh, your time here? Well, you know, for me being a Wampus Cat, going through school here and having that pride, uh, school pride and everything, and then I never left. You know, it's like uh, coming back to work here, then I got to work in a different role to help support that being a Wampus Cat. Um, so um, to me, it's just been, that's my life. That, I, my whole life has been a Wampus Cat. I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to, you know, go to school here, play sports here, and now serve here in this role. So it, it's been an awesome life experience for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Wampus Cat. That, that is the definition. Uh, when, when I meet the folks that have been here uh, from grade school all the way through, they go to college here locally, and then they come back and they work, an example, an entire career here in this district. That's a Wampus Cat for life. We love that, we're proud of that. So Bruce, thank you again thank you, uh, for joining us, and thank you for helping us ascend with purpose in the Conway Public School District. Thanks for joining us.